And health officials in Oregon are predicting that our state will hit the peak in hospitalizations either this weekend or early next week. They say the Omicron surge is different from previous ones. Here to tell us what we're seeing this time around is our Fox 12's Bridget Chavez. So Bridget, what is one of the big differences uh, we're seeing this time around? Well, Bonnie, with the Delta surge, the biggest impact was on hospital ICUs. But now with Omicron, emergency rooms and general medical units are getting hit hardest. The peak of the Omicron surge is near. Oregon health experts say hospitalizations should peak by this weekend or early next week. But hospitals are still facing capacity challenges. Today, hospitals have 582 patients who could be discharged from the hospital, but there's nowhere for them to go. This means that they're not in the best care setting for their needs. Becky Holtberg, the president and CEO of the Oregon Association of Hospitals and Health Systems, says this is happening for three main reasons. Nursing homes and rehabilitation centers don't accept all insurance. Some patients have behavioral issues, and oftentimes these facilities won't accept those patients. And there are patients who are experiencing homelessness who don't have the resources for at-home care. We need help in moving patients out of the hospital to free up beds for people in the community who need them. Laura Chess, the medical director at OHSU's ER, says they're busting at the seams with patients. We have converted our auditorium into a treatment area. That was in addition to adding, um, I believe, 22 total um, of possible hallway beds for patients. And that's in addition to patients being seen in the lobby, seen in our triage area, our urgent care area over in the pediatric side. Um, at one point, we even had patients, um, you know, boarding in their cars, being seen in elevators, um, and just to be able to have a place to take care of patients. Holtberg says it will be hard to change the current trajectory we're on in the next week or so, but beyond that, we do have the ability to influence the number of hospitalizations in our facilities. Again, for the public, it is the things that we have talked about and that people already know. Mask, vaccinate, ventilate, distance. You know, those are the things that continue to be so important in helping us to avoid a hospitalization crisis. Holberg also says all hospitals are facing staffing issues. Many healthcare workers have left the profession altogether, and many are out sick. Reporting live in studio, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12, Oregon.